Well, this morning we have a slightly different plan than last night. Bo wanted to go across to a different spot. So he took two llamas that way. Lorenzo and I came up here where we were last night. That way we can cover some more ground. Bo's got an in-reach, we got in-reaches, so if he needs anything, he can get a hold of us. But it's pretty socked in here right now. Really socked in. So. We'll just have to wait till we can see something. In the meantime, get our stuff ready. I came down here to start glassing. And right when I put the glass up, I found one little buck just right here below us, just below the alpine trees. And kept looking, and then here comes another one, and another one, and another one. Anyways, there's five little bucks now. But, as Randy would say, there's no big Hank with them, so... It was exciting, but didn't lead to anything. Might pop up, though. Hold up here, folks. Can't see anything. Somehow Lorenzo managed to find five bucks in all this fog. Kind of crazy now that you look at it. Yeah. I am about ready to break out the down there. I wish I had another big giant down. Yeah. <clears throat> well, this morning, amongst all the fog, I thought that I saw a buck in those trees. So I'm going to go make a big loop up to the top with my spotter and look down see if I can find him in his bed. I, I couldn't get enough of a glimpse to tell if he was big. He was feeding head down. Look like four points on one side, but I don't know. So I'm gonna walk over there and maybe find out, or maybe there won't be anything there. But I'll let you know when I get back. So Randy's been gone for a minute trying to get eyes on that buck he saw feeding away earlier this morning and uh, just been sitting here glassing this bowl pretty much all morning throughout the fog and really haven't found anything more than a two point seen a lot of deer just nothing more than a two point thank god the sun came out though starting to warm up a little <laughs> I needed that I didn't see anything did you see Bo? Did you look at Bo yeah. at all? Where's he? His llamas are tied up like right over here and now he's taking a nap about another half mile out on the end of the point. It may not look cold, but it's brisk up here. So I put on my new Sitco down layers to take a nap and that helped. Because I stayed nice and warm while I took a nap. But I didn't see any deer when I took a nap. I don't know how Bo was doing. I climbed up that mountain up there and I glassed back this way. I could see him back there. He had his llamas tied off. And maybe he was glassing from the prone position, but it looked like he was napping, which is good. When you need to change the momentum, a nap is usually what does it. So we've got... Mm, Another two and a half hours, maybe, before the sun is down. And uh, maybe two hours. We need to find a buck. That's what we need to do. Find a big buck. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start weighing these bags and stuff so that when we get ready to go, or just go. So. Well, 
first full day is in the bag. And uh, we're gonna load up the llamas, head back to camp, meet up with Bo, see what he saw. Early in the morning, we heard three rifle shots over there. Bo's over there, so we know it wasn't him. We saw about a dozen small bucks, one four by four buck, some wild sheep, a moose or two, and a whole lot of fog and snow this morning. It was miserable this morning. Tomorrow, they say it's supposed to warm up. It's supposed to be even warmer tomorrow by nine to 10 degrees, so. Wish we had the big one to show you folks, but for right now, you're just gonna be, have to be satisfied with four-legged llamas. The guys are taking care of the llamas, so I decided I'll cook some dinner. All right, put some of these big fatties on there. Look at those. They're gonna take an hour. Rice. Oh, it's just good old rice and roll, man. What do you think, Randy? I think it's great. I think Bo Beatty needs his own cooking show from inside a tent at 10,000 feet. It's a great idea. Nothing like a Bo Beatty camp. <laughs> <clears throat> well, just at the close of the day, today I went over, oh, about a mile away from where Randy and Lorenzo were and wanted to kind of glass the backside of everything and then this big mountain that we usually have seen deer on. And so I went over there and this morning it was really cold and snowy. But we got over there and I didn't see any, I saw two bucks this morning, but they were really close to camp. And then glassed everywhere, hiked down to all the different drop points that I could get to. And uh, I took two llamas over there, Top Gun and Dewey, and they did really good. And then <clears throat> this evening, I just like, man, I'm gonna go back and glass his face. And it was probably the right call. I came back and found nine bucks tonight. So it was good, Two, uh, three, four points and a lot of young deer in here. So they all started coming out of the woodworks and they fed out of the timber and for a little minute. And then they fed down with the half hour of light left. So they're still kind of above us about a mile, not too far away, most of the bucks are. So it was a good day, it was a lot of fun. Tomorrow we gotta find some big mature bucks. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's the 140? day. 140? 30? Whatever. We'll find them tomorrow. Right. And we have some big but, bucks that we But today, down. We Max find stepped on my rifle. He did? Yeah, stupid me, I dropped my pack right near him. <laughs> and he stepped on my rifle. So now I'm like, uh-oh. Did he really step on your rifle? Yeah. It's my fault, you know. I, I dropped my pack to unhook everything. And I go push his stake in, and then I go to do Sully, and I'm in a hurry. And I leave my pack there and unassembled, and I walk up there, and there's a llama print right on the end of the barrel. <laughs> Mac, what a bad boy. No, it's my fault. I mean, it would have taken me less than a second to walk 10 feet and put my pack out of his distance. I think he just wanted to get even with me. Yeah. So. <laughs> If I if I shoot and miss, I'm gonna be like, hey boy, I need your rifle, man. It's perfect. It's, it's how I shoot straight. Thanks for watching, folks. Good night.
it happens fast, folks. I know it's not like this great lead up story, but when you have a buck like that and it's happening fast, you don't say, well, let's wait for better light or let's wait for the camera or let's wait till he gets closer. It's like, no, we'll make do. Yeah. So this is going to be a little bit of serious reality TV. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. A really it's, good way to put it. There's, there's no perfection there. <laughs> Behind the trees. Here he comes, he's out in the open. What's that? He's out in the open. He's got that finger in Here's one though, hold on. He's just looking down. Where did he go? Where did he go? Which one? There's one of the other boxes there looking. Hold on, here he comes, he's walking towards I need to get a new range. Okay, here he's coming. I'm on him. You guys ready? Yep. I am right. Again. I got his attention. Behind him? Yeah. Okay. He's coming downhill. He's downhill with those other ones. You see him? You see him in that group of three there? Yep. He's walking right through the middle of them. Ready? Yeah. Oh, you got him. Drilled him. Drilled him? Yep. Get ready. You there was a lot of wind drift. You dead centered him. He's still standing. It, it was a little bit back, like in the liver. Ready? Yeah. It sounded like it hit him. Yeah. It sounded like it went right through him. We wheeled up here. I'm staking out the llamas. Lorenzo's like, get over here. Get it's off. the big buck from the pictures, from Bo's pictures. <laughs> we don't have the camera set up. We don't have the tripods out of the pannier. I just got done like changing clothes. 30, <laughs> maybe 15 to 30 seconds ago. And we know that he hit him. And there's a little patch of timber here. And the deer jumped into that patch of timber. But we can't tell how far. It looked like last rib, but you just can't tell what angle yeah, it was. Yeah, and it's in the shade. It was hard yeah. to tell. And if that deer leaves this patch of timber, say it's further back than we thought, uh, we may never find him. So we're going to sit it out, folks. I don't want to push any deer in this kind of country. No, and so we're just sitting here waiting, watching this timber patch. Some it's, of his buddies are up feeding. We haven't yeah, seen him yet. Yeah. There's deer down below him feeding. There's deer walking through the trees feeding. Like right now, I count five other bucks right below him. Walking right up to where he marched into. So every one of us have a different angle on this patch of timber that if he were to come out, we're going to see him. But hopefully we can... See him laying in there. We didn't even get to say this. <clears throat> Bo was so sick he couldn't get out of bed this morning. And wouldn't you know him, he He said, was not doing well. No, he barely even rolled over. Barely. And he didn't even get out of bed. I started the fire and he couldn't. He yeah. was not feeling it. Feel terrible for him. Yeah. And then the day he's feeling too bad to come up on the mountain, we come back here for the third day and there are bucks everywhere. I have no idea how many deer were here. No idea. A lot. Well, Lorenzo snuck down there because he saw a deer bedded that he thought it was a buck and he just waved to us to come down. So I suspect it was that buck. Now that the shadows moved enough, I think he could tell that was the buck. We're gonna grab some packs, shed a layer, and go retrieve a really, really big buck. <laughs> really big. Holy cow. Holy smokes.
not. Wow, that's the one. My goodness, he's bigger than I thought. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> I mean, just this length right here and this length. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, it's pretty unbelievable. Oh my gosh. What did you think when you walked up here? I'm still like, I'm still, <laughs> I don't know, I get, I get pretty, uh, like, Look at that thing. I get pretty woozy oh. with mule deer, let alone big mule deer. So I'm still a little, uh, holy cow. I'm still like, kind of got the body chills and in disbelief, you know? Like that's how I feel. When you waved us down here, I figured, well, he must have must have expired. Oh man! Oh, look at the body on that tank. And then you look at antlers that big relative to that to big of a body. Whew. And one of those great big-headed monsters. I'm still in just complete disbelief. Thank you, big fella. Oh man, the stories you must have to tell. I know, think about it, right? How many hunters he's come across? And How many seasons have come and gone? How many winters, predators? Migrated all those miles. God. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm still like body chills and weak right now. You, you know what, it. Lorenzo? I'm gonna start selling spots to oh, be our guest hunter. Right? You should. I, I always let the guest hunter shoot first, see? <laughs> let them shoot the wolves first, uh, I let them shoot the big deer I'll tell first. You, I, the, what I keep replaying in my head is when I put up my spot and scope on that group of, of deer, mm -hmm. and I immediately saw him, and I'm like, oh my, it's him. Yeah. Well, what do we say? Dig out your tag. Yep. Get that punch. Yep. Do all the appropriate things, and then we start taking some pictures. Sounds good to me. We brought a camera guy with us just for the picture. Hopefully operation. he knows how to take a picture. If not, he's fired. <laughs> well, we won't fire him until he helps us get it get up. up. Yeah, we, get up above that cliff right there. We got 800 vertical in the last, mm, probably. Yeah, not very far. Third of a mile. <laughs> Couldn't be better. Literally could not, oh, I could have my wife and my son with me. Other than that, literally could not be better. Bo's up there too, I just got his inreach. Oh yeah? He said he's up at the top? Yeah. He's got to see our stuff, right? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Ready? One, two. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you're going to want those load lifters. I think they're as tight as they go. Are they? Yeah. Okay, put that weight on your hips and then everything else will adjust accordingly. So we're going to put the Mystery Ranch Beartooth 80 in its load shelf into action with the front half of this mule deer that Lorenzo shot. So lay your meat in here. Fold it back up, do all your side buckles, and you're off and running. Bo was so sick he couldn't be out here today. We sent an in-reach message to him that we shot a big one about an hour ago. He 
He said, I don't care how bad I feel, I'm coming up there. There that crazy redhead is right up there. <laughs> how we doing, Bo? <clears throat> I've been better, but I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Look at that thing. He's more yours than he is mine. Dude, congratulations, man. <laughs> Thank, you. Boy, buddy. Thank you. Holy <laughs> That's a hike, isn't it? It is. Dude, I got the, the shakes and the chills. <laughs> Randy? Well, this is one of my greatest hunting trips ever. Thanks to you. And I'm probably not even gonna shoot anything. Look at that thing. Good job. Good job, guys. Holy smokes. Pretty damn cool, huh? Hey. Wow, Mr. Mule Deer, what a deer. Wow. People have died from less than that. I'm so, I knew they were going to come out the story. I just knew they were going to come out. You literally, out. as I was leaving, from? that's what you said. That's what you said. I got a good feeling. I'm still dizzy and still got a headache and still got the shakes, but I'm doing better. I lost my balance a couple times on the way up where I'm just like, wah, wah, wah. Yeah. <clears throat> it took me an hour and a half to get up here, but I did it. So I wasn't going to miss this. I'm so glad you guys did it. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Getting those messages on the inReach, I just about died. Well, I'm settling for an afternoon nap because these guys decided they want to stay up here till dark and shoot another deer. Okay. I'm good with that. I just had to have my my lunch and now I've got my boots airing and my feet cooling off. Nothing like a good afternoon nap to really bring you big mo, big momentum. And I'd say that we're looking for Big Hank, but Big Hank is just right here. He's dead as disco right now. He's uh, he's gonna get a victory lap back down to the camp. So that's all right. I'm not. I'd hate to ruin my below-average reputation by shooting a deer like that, anyhow. So, but I'm tired. So. We'll talk to you maybe in an hour or two when the sun starts going down and we start seeing deer. Bo, he uh, he wanted to slowly work his way back, so he is he left about an hour or so ago, and uh, we'll just take it easy with these guys. These are not huge loads for him, them. You got about 80 pounds, don't you, Bono? Quigley here, he's running at about mm, 65, 70, somewhere in there with the head, probably closer to 70. But they can carry a quarter of their body weight and they both weigh 400 pounds. So, and it's all downhill. Which is good for all of us. It's all downhill from here. That's what Lyle Lovett thing. Way better than I saying it, so I'll just shut up right now. So I came down on the ledge and glassed up some deer, and I found one buck that looks pretty dang good. I just wanted Randy to take a look at him, so he could uh, uh, make a good game plan for him tomorrow. So found some bucks on the inside, the inside place we call it. I shoot him. He's got, I got pictures of him with this frame. This is twilight hard to see. Where's he at? Below that gray slide there? He's below that slide. There's a little bench. Two nights in a row I found bucks there. And I only saw one tonight, but he looks pretty good, doesn't he? Yeah. I hope that someday when I buy Quigley, he gets to haul out a buck like that again.
Well, I'm doing something in the dark I usually do in the daylight. It's called hanging meat. Gotta get up out of the way of the bears. We're gonna unload the llama real quick. You find a tree right there? Yeah. With that, doing this at night too. Yeah. We'll probably think we got lost up here. Well, we got uh, Kirsten made some freeze dried dehydrated meals, and I'm just gonna have a V8 and a bratwurst. So we got bratwurst, and we're about ready to cook, put those up. They're nice and crispy with a little bit of onions. Should be good. What do you think, Jonathan? Cannot wait. Well, it was a fine day, folks. Last night, I told you stand by for news. Because right out there, you probably, you probably can't see it. It's a big, you're probably mistaking it for a tree. <laughs> this is Lorenzo's buck. That thing is so big. We, we didn't, I mean, the biggest thing we always are looking for is Big Hank. We might even have to find a name bigger than Big Hank for that one. Uh, don't ask me how he saw it. Don't ask me how he did it. I saw it all happen, but it was dumbfounding to me. The biggest buck I've ever seen in the wild. Ever. Like, since... That, that thing was almost as old as I am, I think. <laughs> Gotta be to get that big. And then we're coming off the mountain, and Bo says, Oh, I'm going to leave a little early. And I knew what he was going to do. He wanted to go on the other side and look for deer. So we come over the saddle, and Lorenzo looks, Hey, Bo's waving us over there. So we go over there, and Bo's got this really nice buck that he says he would let me shoot it tomorrow. But I'm asking him why he wouldn't shoot it. If it's so nice, why isn't he shooting it? It's your turn. It's not my turn. No, nope. yeah. you pa packed out a deer. And I didn't pack it out, so this karma. You, you've cooked got... like three dinners. I haven't done any. It's your turn. Tomorrow's the day. No. I saw you pack out that deer. It was fun watching you guys pack that <clears> thing out. I uh, carried hardly anything. I carried the two front quarters. And yeah, that's plenty heavy. And yeah, right. Yeah, he carried everything out. No. Well, he's built like a freight train. I know. That's why I... he wasn't even breathing hard. I know. I was I was breathing plenty hard. I was just excited. Like I was excited to get to you. Yeah, it was really satisfying to see you guys. Did you hear about it? See so you guys get the buck we were after. It's cool. Very cool. Good team effort. Good shooting. Good spotting. Good job. And then it all comes together. Sometimes it does. It makes up for all the time you think I did everything right. I worked my butt off, and nothing comes together. Yeah, nothing to show for it. <clears throat> We found a good one for you tomorrow. I'm very excited. Hopefully people will grant us a mulligan when they look at Lorenzo's buck. Yeah. <laughs> if not, well, too bad. We're trying hard, folks. <clears throat> and that's about all we can say. We told you we're below average. See you tomorrow. <laughs>